This tutorial will show you how to use the tools with an Autodesk viewer to maneuver around and inside your 3D model. At the bottom of the screen, we've got a toolbar. We click on the home button, it takes you to the initial view that you get when you first open up the file. Let's just zoom in. If you press the fit button, it fits it to the page and the orbit button allows you to move around the model. The way I'm moving around here is just using the left click button on the mouse and moving the mouse left and right. You can also move it up and down, you can see underneath and at the top. So you're just using the direction on the mouse. You can zoom in with the scroll wheel and zoom back out. And you can also use the zoom tool in the toolbar. You see the arrow comes up. If you push your mouse forward, it zooms in. If you pull it backwards, it zooms back out. The pan tool allows you to move the model around the page. Then you need to click the orbit tool again to be able to move around. If you want to go inside the model, you need to use the first person button at the bottom. It's the little person. You click on that, it gives you some instructions on the screen. So it's fairly straightforward and self-explanatory. So you can use the arrow keys to move in any direction or W, A, S and D to go up and down. So you can go upstairs and downstairs, Q and E. If you want to go faster, just use the arrow keys and the shift key at the same time. If you double click on the destination, it'll take you straight there. Once you're in one of the rooms that you want to view, if you drag with the left key on the view, as it's showing here on the mouse, you can have a look around as though you stood in the room. You can adjust the speed of, of how fast you travel with the plus and minus key. Once you're happy with the controls on how to navigate through, just click the OK Got It button. So if we move forward, if we do the plus and minus key, you can see that the walk speed at the moment is three, goes up to six, which is quite fast. I like to set it at two. So if we move forward, we can go inside this room. So I'm just now holding my uh, finger on the left mouse button to look around. And move forward a little bit and get a different viewpoint. You can see all around the room. You can go through into another room, let it take you through doors, and back through. If you wanted to go upstairs quickly, press the E button, it'll take you to the upstairs rooms. And then if you press the Q button, you can go back downstairs as well. So you can maneuver around the 3D model and have a look around. This is a different experience to the Enscape. The Enscape is a very realistic um, 3D walkthrough. And this is more of a, a sketch. Everything's in the same place. It's just um, very stripped back. So you've got some material showing but it's a very clean way of viewing your design. Come back out of the um, first person view and go back to the home. Just position this a little bit differently, zoom in a little bit. You can also create section views of your model. Click on the section box. You've got the X plane, the Y plane and the Z plane or a section box. Click on the X plane. You can see it's put this rectangle in front of the building. You've got an arrow here and you can move this arrow backwards and forwards so you get a section through the building. We orbit that round a little bit. You can see we've now got a section view. You can do that on any of the planes change that to 
pick Y plane. And go on the arrow again and bring it back out. And of course, you can do section through from the top. So you can cut down and you can get a 3D floor plan view. And you can orbit around in the same way using the orbit tool and using finger on the left mouse button to spin it around in either direction, in any direction. So that's really useful if you want to look at your design as a, as a floor plan, but a little bit more realistic. Bring that section back up. Full property. And also put a full section box around the building. Again, orbit around the same way. And you can move this section box Position it wherever you need to see. Go back to the home button. It takes you back to the original model view. You can also explode the model. If you click on explode, you zoom out a little bit. You can see it explodes all the parts using this slider at the bottom here. So you can actually see all the components of the build, all separate. See, we've got the stairs all separated, all the windows are separated. And again, you can orbit around this model and you can see all the components that make up that model. Zoom it right out and then slide it back down and it puts it back together. So that's how you maneuver around the 3D model. In the next tutorial, we'll go through how to mark up your amendments.